Hello everyone. Welcome to another video, video number two. Thank you for tuning in today. Today we're going to go over Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in to Anito's Anointed Arts, video number two. In this video, I'm going to show you how to mix your acrylic paints for your basic Dutch pours. Now, if you looked at my last video, you saw that I did do a painting for you, a Dutch pour, just a simple Dutch pour. You're probably wondering how it turned out, right? Okay. Let me show it to you. It came out absolutely beautiful. You can see all the colors that I used in the painting. Now what I did was I used a uh, Liquitex uh, varnish gloss to finish it off. And it's now dry and it looks amazing. This is what I'm going to teach you during these tutorials is how to make your own art. Okay, let's get started with the mixing. First of all, you're going to use a regular kitchen scale. No big thing. Now this scale has kilograms, ounces, pounds, and milligrams. What you want to do is you turn on your unit and you want to make sure that it has just a G on the scale. That is for grams, okay? We're just going to do and mix our paints and grams. So you have your scale. I have two pictures here. One is just have tap water in it. The other one has what we call flow trawl. Now, Floetrol is a mixing medium to mix in your paints. It's similar to Elmo's white glue. This is the Floetrol. Now, I do have a small bottle here, but I usually buy it in the gallon size. Um, it took too long to get here. It's still on order. Uh, but I just bought this small one to make this video so I can show, you, so show it to you. Uh, but I do usually buy this in a gallon size. And... All the products that I use today will be in my description box where you can see where to purchase them and get them for yourself. So the next thing you want to do is you want to use just, this is just an old strainer uh, from my kitchen. Because your flow trawl, when you put it in your container to pour, you want to make sure that it has no clumps in it. So you're going to shake your uh, uh, flow trawl up. You're going to pour it through the strainer and let it go into your container that you're going to pour. Uh, by the way, I did buy these also on Amazon. Okay. So you want to strain your flow trawl and get that ready. Next, you're going to have bottles. Now, these are eight and a half bottles because I do, uh, do a lot of painting. These bottles I bought from Amazon. They have the screw top on them. And they also come with labels. Now, you can put on your label, you know, what color your paint is. And that way you can keep track of your paints. They also come in four-ounce bottles. Uh, if you don't do a lot of paintings, you know, you might want to size down and just get the four-ounce bottles. But anyways, you're also going to need your paint. Now, I use Artist Loft, and this paint comes from Michaels. I order it online. I also use Liquitex Basics. That's also a good paint to use for acrylic pouring. I also use Amsterdam. Amsterdam paints are good. Uh, they're black, black oxide for making sales in the painting. Now, for my base paint, I buy the quart size um, soft body acrylic paint. Now, this comes from Michaels also. Because in your base paint, which is what you're going to um, uh, layer all your paints on top of, you need quite a bit of that. So, you want to mix 
um, this in a large container. And what I normally do is my son loves coffee. So I just use his empty coffee cans and mix my base paints in. Now, that's what you need to make um, your paints to pour. Now, what I normally do is I mix all my paints and put them in my bottles. And as you can see behind me, I storm all, you know, because I do use a lot of paint. So now the first thing you want to do is you want to turn on your unit and you want to press the tear button. What that does is clears out everything. So you're going to take your bottle and you're going to place it on the scale. Now the scale is going to move, so you want to push the tear button again to just clear it out. Now let me tell you what the recipe is. We're going to use 80 grams of Floetrol. We're going to use 40 grams of paint. And we're also going to use 35 grams of water, just plain tap water. So what you want to do first, you want to start off with your Floetrol. So now we want to put 80 grams of Floetrol in this bottle. So just pour the paint in until you get to 80 grams. Perfect. Then you want to clear it. So you want to press, press the tail button to clear it back to zero. Then you're going to add your paints. Now, um, I had my titanium white in this, and as you saw in the last video, I was running out. So I'm going to take my Liquitex um, titanium white paint. I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to let 40 grams go into this bottle, okay? 40 grams. Okay, perfect. We've got 40 grams of the white um, Liquitex uh, paint in there. We have our flow trawl in there. Now we're gonna tear this out again to zero, clear it out, and then we're gonna add 35 grams of water. So let's mix this in here, 35. Okay, so now we have our paint ready to use. So just screw your top back on there and make sure the cap is closed. And then you're just going to shake it up very well. And you're all done. Okay, let's do one of my favorite paints, which is Deco Art. I also use Deco Art too, but... I normally just use the metallics, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna grab your bottle. I have a bottle right here that is empty that I already had my uh, 14 karat gold in. I'm gonna place the bottle on there, I'm gonna tear it. We're gonna add 80 milligrams of flow trawl in there. Okay. Then we're going to mix um, the 14 karat gold. Now with the 14 karat gold, it is an oil-based paint. And so what I would do is I would get me a popsicle stick and just stir this up real well. Mix it all together. Make sure you get it all mixed from the sides and from the very bottom of it because it does have oil in it. So now what we want to do is we want to clear our scale and we want to add 40 grams of this paint. Forty grams and as you can see 
The deco art is a little bit more liquidy uh, than the um, the artist loft or the Amsterdam uh, paints, but that's okay. So you want to clear it out. Now you're gonna add. Now usually with the deco art paint because it's a little bit liquidy. I only use 30 grams of water. So make sure you get something and write this down. Use 30 grams because it's already a little bit um, liquidy. So we're going to add only 30 grams of water this time. Okay. Screw your top back on. Make sure your top uh tip of the top is closed and you're just going to shake it up really really well and there you have it your bottle of paint now that's how we mix up our paints it's many uh different kinds of acrylic paints out there. You have deco art, you have Amsterdam, you have artist love, you have Pueblo, you have uh, Winston and Newton, all good paints. Um, if you want to, you can start off with the deco art paints. I will show you one, or oh, the Craft Smart. Let's show Craft Smart. This is Craft Smart. This paint is really, really cheap. Now, just when you're starting off, if you don't want to waste a lot of paint, you could just start off with your Craft Smart. It's just a cheaper uh, version of the other acrylic paints. And that will be it for just basic mixing of your acrylic paints. Now, you guys, on the next episode, we're going to go over the tools that we're going to use in our acrylic pores. You have your blow dryer, which is the flower that I told you about in the first video that's purchased from Walmart. You also have your leveler, just a basic leveler that I purchased on Amazon. Your paint stands. Now, you can purchase these paint stands also on Amazon. And this is just a basic scraper, paint scraper. If you mess up or you want to redo something, you can use that. Make sure you have gloves because the paint can get a little messy and you just want to protect your hands and stuff with your gloves. Now, I buy these little paper cups. Now, these paper cups can also be found on Amazon, on Walmart. They're just little bitty throwaway uh, paper cups. So, if you're just doing a painting every now and then, break down the recipe and divide it equally. So, if you use 80 grams of Floetrol, 40 grams of paint, and 35 grams of of water you could break it in half and only use 40 milligrams of Floetrol 20 milligrams of paint and 17 milligrams of water and then you can even break it down further but it's up to you how much paint you want to mix at that time so you guys it was very very wonderful to meet with you again, to give you another uh, episode of Anito's Anointed Arts. And I pray that your day go well. And I just want to say a quick prayer with everyone that's watching. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you and I praise you for this day, Father God. Lord, I just glorify your name and I ask, Father God, that you will look on every follower, every viewer that's watching this video, Father God. You will come into their home, Father God. Make the crooked way straight, Father God. Encourage their hearts, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And Father God, let them know that you are always there with them. Father God, you're only a voice away. 
Amen. Our voice, Father God, we can come to you at any time of the day, any time of the night, and you will always hear us. Father God, I pray that you will bless every listener, every viewer, God, in the name of Jesus, and just have your way in their lives. And that's it for today. And I'll see you next time on Anito's Anointed Arts, where I'm going to show you all the tools that we use and how to use them. God bless you. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.